We're at Colo in the Hawkesbury region of New South Wales, and today we're looking at two of Yamaha's Sport ATVs. We've got the 700 Raptor and the YFZ 450R. Now they're two completely different ATVs. The 700 Raptor is more designed for trail work, whereas the 450 is for racing. And we're here with Tomo from Yamaha, and we're just going to have a bit of a chat about the two bikes. And maybe if you're looking, always wanted to try this sort of thing, we're going to give you a bit of an idea of what the two bikes are about. So first of all, with the 700, it's obviously got a bigger engine, big torquey engine. Uh, maybe the first thing you'd notice if you've been riding agricultural ATVs in the past is that this goes from the, the automatic transmission of the ag ATV to a completely manual setup. It's a bit of a more of a sporty racing, uh, racing setup and it's the first thing you're going to notice. Uh, it's also a lot lighter than your agricultural ATVs. The geometry is completely different. Um, and now if we look at the two differences between these two bikes themselves, the 450 is a lot more sporty in itself. Um, so, Tomo, what sort of things strike you as the differences between these two bikes when you look at them? Okay, first of all, the big 700 single. Um, like you said, very torquey engine. Uh, great for sand dunes, good hill climbing. Uh, good trail riding, um, can race them, um, being seven times Dakar winner, uh, which is damn impressive, so they're very reliable. Um, and then you have the YFZ450, uh, which is purely for racing. As you can see here, it, it sits a lot lower, has a lower centre of gravity, has a wider wheel track, um, five-speed gearbox, um, single-cylinder engine, but twin overhead cam, high-performance engine, very revvy. Um, suited mainly to racing. Right, so the first thing I noticed when I started riding the Raptor was uh, definitely the transmission. The manual transmission is completely different to riding other ATVs, but it's surprisingly easy to get used to. It's just like riding a motorbike. Um, it's, the coordination is very similar. Uh, the thumb throttle is the only difference to a, to a motorbike, of course, so it's pretty easy to ride. Uh, between different ATVs and the Raptor, you first notice the, it's so much lighter and the, the total geometry of the thing. So it's a lot easier to handle at speed, it handles bumps uh, way more than a normal agricultural style bike. As you'd imagine, like the, the ag bikes are designed for a totally different purpose. This is designed to really soak up the bumps, uh, handle that rougher ground and handle the cornering at a lot faster speed. Uh, the performance of the engine is also it's so much more precise and the, the throttle is a lot more snappy. You just get a lot better feel out of it. The same with the brakes. Uh, with an ag style ATV, you're handling a lot heavier weighted machinery. Uh, the precision that you get out of these brakes and out of the throttle here, as you'd expect out of a sport machine, it's, it's similar to the difference between a, a sport bike and you know like a, a normal off-road bike. There's, that's, it's, it's light and day, night and day, it's so much different. So that's a 700 Raptor. That's a totally different style to the 450R. Uh, now we'll have a look at the 450R. As you can see, this is just uh, the most fun day you can have on four wheels, I reckon, with the Yamaha. I've been out on the 450 for about half an hour, and as far as riding style goes, man, it is tough work, but it's heaps of fun. Um, it handles a lot differently to the 700. You can really feel the difference in the wider wheelbase. It steers from the rear end a lot more. Uh, the engine wants to rev a lot more. Overall, heaps of fun.